Pigolaski. Uh, Dub, why are you trying to play games on a computer with a Windows installation from 2009? And I honestly have no idea. <laughs> just can't figure it out. Yes, I know exactly why I can't figure it out. Alright, uh, so, Modern Horizons 2 come out this weekend. I had something to open this box with. I swear, I'm not completely unprepared here. My, uh, local store here in the middle of absolute nowhere in Alberta managed to give us a deal on par with a couple of the, uh, the online places. Because... Uh, they're really awesome customers, and I would love to tell you about them were I not the kind of horrible person uh, that they would rather not be associated with. I bought a set box because I don't understand how money works. And typically, eh, um, I tend to buy for, I buy packs for rares, right? You don't buy, I'm not buying packs for commons. That's, you know, that's, no one does that. Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't work at all. You know what? About how much patience I got for you right now. Uh, I bought, I pre-ordered for one, one set box. When there was about 30 cards spoiled, because I knew there was going to be stuff in it I was going to like, but I didn't know how much. And, uh, holy wow, do I regret it. I, I should have bought like two after watching the spoilers come out. The uh, person at the store was like, oh, we got this and we got that and someone opened one of those. And I love it when they tell me that because it means that my deck, my box is going to be absolutely terrible. I got a squirrel. The art cards are neat. I wish they were all in, uh, in portrait mode, not landscape. That way you could use them as a proxy of the actual card when it wasn't something like a land or a planeswalker. Squirrel! The set does kind of look like an unset because of a few things. Uh, it's a land. Lots uh, well, of water, red comets. And uh, one of them. Foil Tormod's Gatekeeper. These things, I'm... I know this is their specialty frame. This is like, here's the, the concept of the card, right? Uh, intent. The spell shows a creature being damaged by power for rays of light. While it is interesting... They want to give us an insight to how the art works. Going to say I think the website's a better way to do that. Because if if they put a bit of effort into the like the website, they could they could show you a time lapse to go from like initial sketch to this to that to finished artwork. And while I know there's a finished artwork, I probably I'm probably going to pull one of these cards for real here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to set it there. And if we get it, then we can compare. That's my mythic here. Uh, two casting costs two one add. Turok did can us is uh Turok the uh, Fallen Empires. Kick over two black, pro white. When our opponent discards a card, put a post on post on counter. Yeah, that's Turok. When he comes into play, if it was kicked, target opponent discards two cards at random. So for four mana you get a Technically you'd get a four three pro white. Neat. I'm going to say with the power creep lately, this seems a little underwhelming. That would have been... That would have been way better. Like, 20 years ago, when Fallen Empires was in circulation, and you could actually play uh, Discard as a strategy. And land. And a bunch of green cards. And that... That's... Wow. One, two, three, four, five uncommons in a row. That's one of the reasons I like these things. Acorn Catapult. Because it's the squirrel set. The, the issue with buying draft boosters is I always, I'll buy two or three boxes of draft boosters and wind up with essentially a box of one of these full of dead commons. Because you only need like 8 to 12 of certain commons and absolutely none of some others. And then the uncommons I have a difficult time getting. Because you only get three per pass. So you'll get 30... Uh, what would it be? 3 times 36, 90, 108 uncommons. And a bigger set, and this one is, this is 303 cards. So in a bigger set, you're going to have a tough time getting a decent play set of commons. I know that here now in the time of uh, 
of commander getting a place out of things isn't quite that as important. But that doesn't mean I don't still think in a way that I want playsets. But what I get here, Riptide Lab, which is good. that's a reprint. Uh, target non-creature artifact you control becomes an OO artifact creature with a four plus and plus encounters on it. Put four. Oh, they get four on each one that came in creature this way. So make all your stuff easier to kill. Hmm. Uh, if I was an end of, like a, a one turn thing, I would say okay, because then I can risk it. But turning all my stuff into things that can be killed much easier, I'm uh, not quite so sure. That's a it's the dragging with cycling lanes and some stuff. The uh, the two colored artifact land. That's I'm fine with this. I'm I'm absolutely fine with this. I I still like Artifact Land from when they came out in Mirrored in the first time. Uh, yes, I realize they may have been a complete mistake in terms of standard, but I still like them. I still like them. Bunch red. All oh, right, I gotta keep an eye for a lens flare or something here, don't I? That. Uh, another one of them. We dress down into the battlefield. Draw a card. Creatures. Oh, it's um. It's a one-turn humility. Kind of. And everyone loses all their abilities. Kind of. Kind of neat. Better, more in flavor if you turn them... Well, no. Because if a... Just abilities, I guess, is more of a blue thing. If you turn them all into, like, 1-1 one, one crabs or something, that would be a, a slightly different spell. Uh, what are you? Abundant Harvest. That's an act. That's a reprint, isn't it? Yes. I think it's a common though. Although it's kind of neat to get the, the sign cards every now and then. Forest. The uh, Arcbound mechanic is of all the things I didn't expect to come back. Arcbound is one of them because Arcbound is from uh, first Mirrodin is like what two thousand somewhere in there. Stuff. Stuff, stuff. Obsidian Charma. Cost one less to cast for each land your opponents control that could use colorless. Well, that's easy to figure with. Five casting us four for flying. Oh, it's a dragon, that's why. Destroy a non basic land. That's. That's a rare. That's a rare. Glimmer. Oh, this is. No, that's not an actual card, is it? No, it's one of the new ones, but it's in the old frame, that's why. It's sort of like the opposite of uh, Gilder Baron. Gilder Baron had a cuter costume. The little dude dressed as a frog. I think that was a lot cuter. Uh, you're a corner. I just get... Oh, it's two different things. Ooh, the foiling on that looks really cool. This isn't going to come off at all on, on camera. But the blue... You just go out shining the thing at you. The way the, the blue underside of that, that critter comes out really nicely. That is kind of neat. Way on. Arr. Somebody up here had open these things. It's only been 25 years. You're a guy that makes golems or something like that. But, uh, the two color artifact land. One, two, th one, two, three, four commons in a row. Five. That. Technically six if I count Veil of Summer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the. Uh, the uh, the Urborg for forests. Not entirely sure how I'm going to use this, but I intend to somehow. And it's not at well. I don't know. There's a lot of things that make your forests do better stuff. Vernal bloom. So you want to be a forest. They all make an extra green. Really wanted to play. Uh, Gaia's. Oh, what the hell is it called? The really bad six casting cost. Guy with power tough equal to your forests. How many attacks is power tough to use someone else's forests? <laughs> but he turns things into forests. Oh, this guy. Okay, this this actually this this is gonna go into a deck as soon as I figure out which one. One casting us one one human soldier. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell in a turn, draw a card unless they pay X where X is this guy's power. So first turn it's WAP. So they either don't play a non-creature spell that turn. Or they wait till next turn, or they give you a card. 
and then on your next turn you slap something on it to pump it up so they got to pay two or three and it should continue to pay off the longer the game goes it's like a, a critter version of smothering time it's going to total taxes in that deck is this my friends don't hate me enough already that's uh, Astro, but uh, yeah, blah, 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 the, the cook. Again, we better off if that was a f the portrait format, so you can use it as a proxy. One, two, three, four, five. Not quite so much on the common there. Common, uncommon. Foil. Okay. So this guy here makes. You would make a clue, food, or treasure, get one of each. That's going into my Mazurek food deck. Because it gives you more things to sacrifice. And this is the dude that everyone got mad because it was supposed to breaking the reserve list and commander and stuff. It's like, I don't see what the problem is. You have to pay five for this guy to start with. Okay, the middle of five, five, so he's not easily destructible. Tap. Choose a card name that hasn't been chosen from among the following. Disenchant, Brain Geyser, Terror, Shivan, Dragon, Regrowth, and Black Lotus. Create a copy of the card with a chosen name. Now, I get that those are... I would say iconic cards. Disenchant is not really an iconic card from white anymore, given that there's been vastly many other things. I... But then what would you choose from white? Sarah Angel, probably better than Disenchant. Because you've got Shivan Dragon at red. It would kind of make sense to have either Shivan Dragon or... I would say Swords of Plowshares, cause, but that doesn't get a lot of prints either. You've already got Terror on it. It's one of like the worst old creature kill cards because it's so situational. Great artwork, by the way. If you ever see a beta one, those are absolutely beautiful. Oh, and Blacklist. I can tap and make a Blacklist. I can pay five, wait a turn, tap him, get a thing that makes me three mana, and then I have to either put this guy away, send him to the command zone, or flicker him so I can do it again. And you pay the costs. So you, you can tap, and you still have to pay six for a Shivan Dragon. Or zero for a Lotus. But then you still have to, like, fiddle with it to get more low tie into play. I think people are overreacting to him. Oh, and these guys have the tabs in the, the side that don't work for me. Yeah. I can't imagine why these get the worst views on my channel. You are... a really cool picture of a card I don't quite remember yet. The most blue island I've ever seen. Wow, that's really, really blue. Uh, wow, a lot of black commons. A land. Devour artifact. This guy comes to play and eats a white artifact that comes to play and eats other artifacts. For devour one. I guess you'd have to. Because you could pound out a whole bunch of clues or something like that and just boom like that. Uh, it's one. Two casting on zero zero. It enters the battlefield. Exile creature card from a graveyard, so it can kill something else. Tap two untap creatures you control. It becomes a copy of the exile card, except it's a vehicle. Okay, well, that's one way to get rid of big things for good. Because a copy of the exiled card, that's that's a potential for some cool stuff, especially in commander. Solitary confinement. It's a big card. Uh, I've, I've got some from Scourge, I think, still. Is it, just skip your draw phase. You have Shroud Prevental Damage to you. Yeah, like, that's hard to do. I mean, I mean, that's, it's so hard to draw cards outside of your draw phase. <laughs> and it doesn't blow it. Well, let's see. Discard a card during your upkeep. Okay, because that's difficult. Other ways to draw cards. That's minus four, minus four. And a blatant plug for nothing. Can I get one of these? There, it actually worked for a change. You are the, oh, sort of hearth and home. Which now that I've got that, guarantees I'm not going to pull it in the back. Great. Whole lot of green. 
you got one, two. Uh, you showed up in a weird spot. I should, and I ever mind. I've got these, and I still, I really ought to play them. There's not enough arcane spells out there to really make it worthwhile. Master of Death enters the battlefield. Surveil two. Give your upkeep if he's dead. Pay one life to return it to your hand. I'm fine with that. Maybe not. I don't. Well, I, it's the surveil two that makes him a rare, isn't it? Otherwise, you'd be just an uncommon. It would be a master of death. You'd be like a journeyman of death. Uh, 30 year apprentice of death. Magus of the, oh, this is the guy that makes the, it's the bridge from below version. I don't even, I don't play bridge from below because it just seems too easy to blow up. And then, huh, when a creature is put into opponent's graveyard from battlefield, exile him. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being a part timer. There's some kind of teamer thing. Maybe. I don't know. That's artwork, though. It's a very pale swamp. I should recognize the art. That's a portal swamp, isn't it? Maybe. A whole bunch of blue. An uncommon land. More commons. Ah, Misty Rainforest. Because I need to fetch land. That dude. Faithless salvaging. Tip card. Misty Rainforest. Well, that's neat. I can trade that to somebody. I'm just not a big on fetch lands. I'm going to say it. Personally. Personally. Not a big guy in fetch lands. It's just, just a me thing. Don't don't judge me. That is not like appetizing. Well, the thing on the plate to me, right? Treasure. Yeah, it's going to be like a, a portal... It's gotta be a portal. Makes two squirrels. Lands and land. Uncommon and two. Four, five. five. <laughs> That's a lot of uncommons in that pack. Yep, and the Phyrexian's got to Caldra. It's now just a living weapon that has all the parts. You put it on something, and it, you put it on a germ, it becomes Caldra. It's got a million legs on it, too. The artwork's kind of neat. I could still got the uh, the constituent. Sorry about the glare there. So all the constituent parts from the old cards, they're just all glued to a germ. The germ's having the time of his life. Uh, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can open one of these in a reasonable amount of time. Beast. That's a planeswalker. Shall cover tentacles. I playing the wrong game. For the land. Full bunch of green. Uncommon. Uncommon. Relate to dinner. Return target creature card. Return target creature card from graveyard to the battlefield. Create a food token. Resurrection is four. That's an uncommon. Or is it a common? I don't know. Definitely puts it being, and it's a red. It's a white and three instead of two white and one. Two white and, and whatever. I've spent two hours this morning doing yard work and amount of caffeine. The Ignoble Hierarch. That's one I definitely wanted. I think I have a deck. He's might be going in right away. I think. And to vindicate. I'm a big fan of uh, black white removal cards. To the extent that any time I build a deck that has black and white, it automatically has uh, Vindicate, Utter, and... Uh, there's two other... No, there's like th three or four other. White and black. Exile a thing cards, destroy a thing cards. Squirrel! Not sure what that one is. That works not bad, though. Land. That's uh, definitely a nice gruel pack there. Yeah, but the uh, Hermes Dragon. Ah, uh, greed. You're all the way back down to uncommon again. You were a powerful card once. Faithless Salvaging. Foil Artifact Land. Here's that dragon back there, the plane cycles. And you can eternalize it. So instead of paying 5 for a 5 5 flying, you can pay 6 for a 
four four flying that gets you a planes. Not entirely sure that's an upgrade. Get a clue. That's one of the artifact lands. Oh, really? You could make the artifact lands like that so people could proxy them. These go together? They are all bridges, aren't they? Well, that one certainly doesn't. Mist Volt. Let's see what we got here. Mist Volt. I know I've got a couple others. No, it doesn't. Would be cool if it was, though. It's been a long time since we've had uh, land cards that strung together. Although on this one here, if, if that's the white and that's the blue, that does not look very white land. That looks like some, it's not good white land. That's definitely a black to blue land. All the... Like, these seem like they should fit together like that. Like the... You have to put the white here and the blue there so you can put the blue like that. I think it's a missed opportunity. Land. Big pile of comments. Uh, bone shredder, that thing. A bad foil. Eve, still. No Jund Ooze Commander. Still disappointed in this. Although, he does have a really cool ability. He's cost 5 for a 2 2. He's got Storm. So when you play, if you had other spells on the stack, you would get copies of him. And the legendary, the tokens aren't legendary, so you can have him and a whole bunch of copies of him because if you just like chew one of the battlefield with him. And a plus one, plus one counter of each other ooze you control. So if you had a couple other oozes already, cast a couple of cheap things, drop him. You would each come into play with at least two plus one, plus one, I think a four, four. Not a commander. Definitely a quality soldier, though. Someday. Someday. i get that. Actually, no, it wouldn't be Jund. It would be, um... Whatever the four-color one is without white. Because there are ooze-related cards in every, every color except white. Ooh, that's pretty. That's some kind of legend end facing the right way up. Uh, cards, cards, cards. It's one commons. Pull back. That's a color hoser. Braze apprentice enters the battlefield. Get a thopter. Sack an artifact to exile the top card to library. You can play it. Target creature gets plus. That's a throw in, not a commander. Definitely not a commander. Extruder, you were a rare once upon a time, I think. Definitely looks different in the new card frame. The old brown card frame is a lot better. Second permanent, da -da -da. I'll foil one of them. And a scarecrone. I'll put you in with your rares. Got scarecrones. Someday I should build the scarecrow deck. Got Reaper Kings. Got uh, Changelings. <laughs> Scarecrows on their own are a pretty terrible tribe. Ooh, that's. I'm not sure what card that is, but that's. It's Phyrexian, I can tell by the thing on its head. Nice artwork. I'll try to check that one out. Common, common, common. One, two, uncommon. A rare. Two rares. That's a fetch land. Three uncommons. A foil something. Kitchen Imp. Moderation. You can't you can't cast more than one spell each turn whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. That's moderation, alright. Card prevents you from casting multiple spells per turn, but rewards you for your restraint. Uh, I'd rather be rewarded for my lack of restraint when it comes to casting spells. And a Marsh Flats. And something to trade. I think my problem with the these fetches is... For one, I can't, I can't justify the cost... That's neat. 
uh, the value on the card due to the demand. I can't justify getting a bunch of them. It's much easier to trade them away. And yes, okay, I can go for a Plains or a Swamp. But if I'm playing a deck with black and white, there are kind of better ways to get the stuff I want. Maybe not as fast, but because I don't play competitive, I'm not worried about the speed at which I get it. Oh, you are. Taps for a colorless. Target non white permanent becomes an artifact in addition to each other types. Tap for a color so I can, or I can tap, shatter your creature. Nice way for remover. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Hey, I got. Okay, let's slow down. We're getting kind of crazy here. A seal of cleansing. Each spell that's red or green costs one less to cast. That's going into a deck somewhere. Duh. Seilun of Sea and Sky. Three casting costs three, four. Oh, it's a god. That's why. That's why it's under-costed. Indestructible as long as you control two other merfolk. When we attack, draw a card. It's way under-costed. For a god, it should be... It should have the typical, like, not devotion, but have something else. Like, it's great that it gets instruct indestructible as long as you have two other merfolk. It's great. For three casting, that's three, four. Even at mythic, that's something that's cost at least one more. Extra card. That's cool. And a squirrel. I, if, if I don't build this deck, I have a friend who probably will because he's already got a squirrel deck. A black-green squirrel deck. The, uh... I can't remember which squirrel legend it was. So what you it rewards you for having cards that have squirrels in the artwork. So he built the deck that has all the squirrels in the artwork. Which is one of the nice things about my playgroup is they're willing to do dumb things like that. That's that one where all the artifacts come to life. A land. A very Orzhov pile of stuff, a brain stone. Curse your sudden but inevitable trail. A oh, counterspell. He has a Floodhound. Didn't I get one that's back here? We got something else. Floodhound. I don't believe those are. This looks like. Back came up with that and then backdated it to look like this. Suspend three for blue and two. Search. Oh, it's a bribery. It's a bribery that takes three turns to go off. The opponent has three turns to try to dig for their best card before you steal it. Or you could just play bribery. I, re I understand not everyone has bribery. They're not an easy card to get nowadays. Uh, land. Actual Glimmer Baron. Stuff, uncommon. Two rares. Oh, nested, you're a zombie that does stuff, and you're a foil. A moderation. A karmic guide, which is a reprint. Not a fan of moderation. That's a, yep, again, wasted that opportunity for, for land cards. One, two, three, four, five commons. Two one commons. Oh, it's a Triskelion with one leg. <laughs> what do we got here? We've got Upheaval. It's a card that uh, I think that's banned in Commander. And you deserve to be punched in the head if you play it. Search the premises. Of oh, it's a foil version. Whenever something attacks you, investigate. Well, that's a foil I'm going to have to keep. Because it's a really cool card. Soul Talisman, because... I still kind of want to get one of every artifact. It's... I realize now, I'm, I'm probably never going to, because of what some of them cost and how hard it is to get certain things. I do have... enough of the other cards that come into play for zero. But with the the suspend Mox, suspend Lotus, 
the suspense soul ring. A bunch of other stuff. Just have some. Yeah, but my deck shows up in shifts. One, two, three, four, five. Mind collapse. Oh, no, you're a common. That and profane tutor, which is the uh, tutor in two turns instead of right now. I guess maybe in two turns you'll have a slightly better idea of what you want. Uh, I I probably know exactly. Nah, no, I have a zombie deck that says has all kinds of tutors, and I'm terrible at predicting what's going to happen later. So I tend to just tutor for what I need right now. Uh, one, two, you're a common. Ship, you're uncommon. Whenever you discard a card, you pay one to amass two. You pay one to get a two two zombie. Or make it a four four. Or uh, discard a card to get something you can sacrifice. Get more value out of stuff. Murray's Wake. I've got a bunch of Murray's Wake already, actually. That's the guy from there. Hexproof and monocolor. And we're and you cast a monocolored spell, get a golem. So he's he's an artifacty commander, but wants you to cast multicolored spells. An artifact deck. I'm sure that seemed like a great idea from the people who play test. Is what? I forget what you are. Some kind of is it? Thing. it does look kind of cool though. Land, commons, arcbound whelp, because we need more arcbound stuff. Resurgent belief. Return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to battlefield in a couple of turns. I'll let you plan for it. Angelic Purator is a reprint. Return two creatures to the donor's hands in wizard cycle. And a foil kitchen imp. There. Yeah. Still looking for the is it uncommon. The one lets you tap to discard a card. Oh, I bent that. What is it? Subtlety. Okay, or yeah, it's okay now. Neat, but it'll be never be worth anything. Cards, cards, cards. Uncommon. Blood Braid Marauder. Sacrifice a creature. Each opponent loses two life you gain. Two. That's that's not bad. I can throw that in my vampire deck for some life gain. Can't block. Delirium has Cascade as long as he's got Delirium. I hate Delirium as a mechanic. Takes too long. Too difficult to set up. I know it's it wants four card types, whereas threshold is just like seven cards. But threshold is actually easier to get. That's uh, white, white, black artifact. I don't have barely any of them yet either. Now that I think about it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uncommons. <laughs> seven. Oh, wow, that's a lot of uncommons. Zabab the Glimmer Wasp, modular one. If a modular triggered ability would put one or more counters, put that many. So if one of your modular guys died, you get extra points out of it. Destroy an artifact you control or give them flying. Not a fan. Ornithopter Paradise in the old frame. It's kind of neat. Uh, the one of any color bit. As a common. As a common. As a common. So most of the stuff that taps for like that is a rare. And they're green. Seems like it would have been a better uncommon. Like more a more more fitting as an uncommon. Here's a, yeah, I have a Kaldra living weapon token. Stuff. Right, an old thing, Profane Tutor. Shatter Storm. Altered up the Glyph. Splicer's Skill from a while ago. 
I got two of them. That's kind of cool. Dothy Voidwalker. Two casting us three to Shadow, so it's always getting through. You have a card to put into opponent's graveyard from anywhere. Exile it with a Void Counter on it. Sacrifice this over any card with a Void Counter on it. That's kind of neat. So you could play this guy and copy him somehow. Uh, what's the word? Prototype Portal. Or Mimic Vent. Just chew up someone's graveyard a whole bunch. Play a bunch of their cards, because if you're playing Mimic Vat and Doubt you your deck's probably not very good. A Man of War. You were in the list on the last one. You are very blue. Very, very blue. Da -da. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Zurin Orb. I know they reprinted Zurin Orb. Got a ton of Zurin Orbs. Not a big fan of the new artwork. I think the old artwork was a bit better. Death of Red Maw. So <laughs> Oh, look. 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 It's literally a meme. So shiny. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. This, um... <laughs> Shuffle all permanents you own into your library and roll that many cards from the top. So if you have a whole lot of permanents and a bunch of tokens, you go... Boom, something like that. And then hope you have a whole bunch of triggers that happen. Otherwise, you just probably drastically, drastically buggered up your board state. Squirrel. You are... What, a legend? Did I get you? Did I get you? Didn't I get you? Some alternate art Shatterfang. So technically you have two Shatter two Chatterfangs. Uncommon, uncommon, common, common, common. Uncommon, uncommon. Darth. Galvanic relay, flourishing sprite. Brishidin Dock Hand. One casting us, one two, island walk, one tap tack target. That's a rare? Taps the land is all it does. Who cares if it's got an island walk? Ugh. Yeah, I definitely the... I'm going to say it right now. I want you to just look at the difference. Which of these cards just looks better with the frame? Once I'm in frame. This, this old gold looks so much better than this boring, crummy yellow. This is what I wish would have come back. Bring this back with that frame. And you'd have better cards. Much, much more attractive. Wow, we're in the home stretch. We got three packs left. Go away. Clue. You're a uh, dragon something. At least you're in the right orientation to figure out what you are. Common, common, common. Uncommon, uncommon. Urz. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chainer is a reprint. Underworld Hermit makes a bunch of tokens. Squirrels for your devotion to black. That's weird. Arcbound Shikari. Cat folk. This one got spoiled early on. Not terribly thrilled about it, because it's like you play a land and then three turns it blows up. Actually, not even that. You play it, you get the one. So you tap it three times. One, two. No. You draw a phase. So you get to use it a third time during the up, second upkeep after you play it. And it's gone. Just so you can, like, search for a soul ring or something. You're a wedge in pole. And come, come, come. Whenever you discard a card, each opponent mills two. That's kind of neat, actually. Hey, sort of hearth and home. I got one. Got a marble gargoyle. Navindral's disc. I still have old Navindral's discs. You have three fortunes flame. Red and blue and one. Whenever you attack, choose every one of five and flip coins, and then um, no one cares. Because flip coin cards are kind of... 
If you won five flips that way, which you never will, draw a card for each flip. For each flip you lose, he does two damage to you. So you have the potential of taking ten. Odds are you'll never take ten. Odds are you'll never be able to play spells. You might draw two or three cards with it, depending on how lucky it is. And whether or not you're running uh, Kark's Thumb. Throw Hearth at home. At least I got one of them. Uh, when it's damage to a player, exile up to one target creature you own. Really? When it deals combat damage to a player, exile up to one target creature you own, then search your library for a basic land. Oh, it puts them both back into play. Okay. So you flicker a creature, basically to untap it or to re-trigger its coming to play abilities, and a basic land. It's still a little underwhelming for a mythic compared to what all the other ones do. All right, here we are. All the marbles. Got crabs. Got. Let's well, uh, Dacon. I got a single planeswalker in this box. Single one. Once I pull three Planeswalkers, this deck's a bit of a wash. Destroy target land that is snow or could produce... Oh, it's a sinkhole for a weird land. Okay. And you can overload it. Ooh, that's mean. That guy, persist, chance encounter. Nope. Bum, 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 bum. Boom. Bun and harvest. Chance encounter is a reprint. You have a chance to win the game if you have... 10 luck counters on it, but in reality you're just going to proliferate it and win. And persist, which lets you bring back a non-legendary creature with a minus one counter on it. <sighs> I'm a little disappointed at this box. No real big pulls. At least that I know of. I haven't looked at the... I haven't actually really looked at the price list yet. Didn't get any of the cards. I Any of the Planeswalkers, so I'll buy a goddamn box there. One, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36, 37 would be a regular box with the one foil rare. 38, 39, 40, 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So, equivalent of a box and a half. In terms of rares go, we did get we did get really good variety. I'll say that. We got great variety. Uh, we got what three duplicates? We got we got, yeah, like three duplicates. We got a couple of Garths. Uh what's the other one? We got a couple moderations. So not the best ones to have doubles. That is another moderation. Oh, and a pair of Profane Tutors. So those are... Okay, I'll admit I wanted them. A pair of Garths. 52. 52 is not bad. Out of 24 packs. 21, 48, an extra 8. Yeah, so average two, average two with the remainder of whatever, because math is hard. So in terms of like just raw cards for this, like for my play stock, it definitely came out. Oh, hang on, this one. I forgot what I had already. Either way, uh, yeah, we definitely came out ahead on rares compared to buying a regular box. I'm gonna say that right now. Uh, didn't get any of the three planeswalkers, which makes sense because I bought three boxes of Strixhaven, three of these of Strixhaven, and get a single Liliana or a single funky looking demonic tutor. So, my bad luck there. Oh well, but I got to sort all this stuff into my play stock as soon as I can. 
I should have friends coming over tonight. I'm not going to tell you where I live so you don't know what our restriction levels are. Because they don't care either. Oh, I didn't get... Um, ah. Did I not get one? The artifact lets you discard a card for a food token. Did I really not get one of them? Or did I just not pay attention? I have a feeling I didn't get one of them. What was it called again? Sacrifice? Yeah, it's dumb. Torque. Extruder. I have a feeling I didn't get one. Like, I'm going to have to go hit up a place and buy some singles. Oh, I got one. One. Well, you're going straight into the food deck. I'll be making a lot of food out of you because the deck needs food to survive. And when I get that done, deck properly done, it's going to be a episode of This is My Commander and Why Do My Friends Hate It? Uh, trust me, they hate it. They do. Why they keep playing Magic with me, I don't know. And a couple of them watch my videos, maybe they can tell me why you keep playing cards with me. Anyway, so it's got to go away. Uh, I've got a Busy Saturday afternoon, but I will see you in the future.